Welcome to another sermon recap where we take the previous Sunday service and we recap it. We are still on our series, Vision You, and this previous Sunday, Pastor Joseph was sharing a message to us. But before we get into it, I've got a very special guest. He has made a comeback. He's our musician, very quirky and very funny. Please help me welcome Hagen. What's up, guys? Oh yeah, oh yeah, a round of applause there for Hagen. How's it, Hagen? How you doing? Good, bro, how are you? Ah, uh, always happy, man. Yeah, nice, awesome. You're back on the couch again, and we're going to be recapping the previous Sunday service. How do yeah. you feel, bro? Oh man, I'm excited, eh? Awesome. Um, this previous Sunday, Pastor Joseph made a really, really cool preaching, and a greatest il- illustration that he did was having champagne. And before he started, we were told that we we're going to be celebrating. Mm. Oh yeah, oh yeah. How did that make you feel, bro? Nah, bro. I I was just trying to wonder if they were celebrating that there were no ladies there, oh. or if they were celebrating for, you know, the the series, man. Because that Newton cracked a joke before saying yeah. there's gonna be no ladies. So I thought that's why they pulled out the champagne. Oh yeah. Yeah. <laughs> let's see. Let's see those scenes, hey. Right, Pastor Joseph, come. We're you gonna celebrate today. Pastor Joseph is sharing a message. Hang on. Whoa, whoa, whoa. We're celebrating <laughs> because God's got a vision and we're excited for the vision that He has for each and every one of you. Okay, now we can celebrate. Let's go. Oh, we're celebrating because because God has a vision. Yeah. And we're excited about the vision that God has for each one of us. Mm. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Yeah, well, do you, did you feel in celebratory mode in that Sunday? Yeah, man, I was happy. I mean, it's always good to celebrate, especially for what God's done for us because... It's good to know and remind people that God's got a very special purpose for them. Yeah, it was sort of like prophetic, you know, we were celebrating right before we, we achieved that vision. For me, it was it was just that, you know, like we should be in celebratory mode yeah. so that we prepare, you know, for, for our victory, for our victory towards vision. And it was also it was also something different. Yeah. Because it's, it's the first time I'm sure we've brought like champagne in the middle of a church service, you know. And mind you, that's non-alcoholic champagne. Yeah. Non alcoholic. Yeah. yeah, it's just it's just the juice, you know. Yeah. But Keenan is over eighteen. <laughs> <laughs> I think. <laughs> I think it's under. That guy looks fifteen. <laughs> <laughs> I liked I like this. Come on, Mr. Butler. Yeah. What? <laughs> just watch your eyes, please. Hey. Do you think he was pulling an act here or Keenan, I don't know, man, because when I asked him after Please. the service, he said that, nah, he said he's never done it before and he was really struggling. <laughs> Look at him go. We, we actually have to celebrate today, not tomorrow, today. Just watch. That was really awesome. Check the face. <laughs> 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 and you know, the funny thing is, um, just before church, Keenan comes up to me and says, Yo, man, I forgot my belt at home for my tuxedo. Yeah. So during worship, I'm jumping with because he has my belt. Oh, yeah? So now my pants, I'm holding it up while trying to play the guitar. <laughs> I didn't see that. <laughs> I want to go back and just try to show why we had the, the wine and what symbol that wine brought, you know, because Pastor Joseph preached about the wine that um, you need to have new wine skin for new wine. Yeah. You know, he, he made that as as he, it was sort of like a symbolic uh, gesture that he was doing when mm. you brought we brought up that wine yeah you know? yeah did it make you understand the message quite easy or were you were you just lost in it but because i i really understood what he was saying no i think i think it's always better because like most people prefer practical over yeah. theory and i think that the just bringing the champagne in it brought a whole new concept to the celebrating mm-hmm. because usually most people don't even think of a celebration like that when it comes to god yeah most people just say thank you and move on with their day yeah i think that the champagne just made everybody it almost like woke them up saying like damn man th- we can celebrate anyways because it's almost like communion of course just without we weren't you specifically using it for communion purposes but it had a similar concept yeah so that's yeah because we're blessing the champagne with god's name saying 
whenever you drink the champagne, remember what God has done for you. you know? Yeah, yeah. And it's not a literal step, you know. It was it was just a practical example to to bring up to the church, to bring up to anyone that may not understand what new wine means and new wine skin would mean, you know. Yeah. Because when he said that, he said the bottle represents our body mm. and the wine represents um the Holy Spirit and the Word of God that's inside us, you know. Mm. So what he also said is that what's important it's is what is the context inside the bottle it's yeah. not just the bottle mm. although that you need the bottle but the context of what is inside the bottle is as important as mm. what the bottle looks like and you know he said um point four he says they says that they're filled with the holy spirit yeah and i just found that ironic that they use champagne because champagne when you pop it it usually explodes oh yeah and when we get filled with the holy spirit we should theoretically explode with joy you know? oh yes yes so so we could think of it as we the champagne bottle mm-hmm. and god is the when he when we get shaken up it's we get shaken by the power of god oh, that yeah. just lets us explode with his joy you know exactly exactly well put there yo that's really insightful hey hagen <laughs> that's quite insightful that's that's really wise i couldn't agree more with what you've said there you know that's god when we share when we get shaken up by god we just explode yeah yeah explode with the holy spirit mm. that's really cool and another point about the service what i really really enjoyed the most about the service is the worship it was quite mm. awesome since we as living with church are gearing up for generation next it was quite great to see a little young man on stage there singing you know with his yeah. mic next to his dad that was really really awesome and yeah. he was giving it his all i i quite enjoyed that you know it was quite symbolic of what we're gearing to and what we're looking forward to which is generation next i like that you know mm. yeah i mean one day he's gonna be up on that stage yeah soon enough with us singing playing instruments yeah right? i mean i looked at him and man that guy was filled with energy more energy than what oh. i was filled with he oh, was yeah. jumping he was singing he was having the time of his life and i think that's what even us as teenagers or mm-hmm. when you're an adult that's what you can strive for is because every time you just hear that that one epic christian song pop up oh you just yeah go crazy eh? yeah you go crazy yeah i really love that it was quite illustrious of what living with church is about it is a family church it's it's a church that loves children you know it's a church that thinks about the future of the of the young uh, of the young children and the next generation i i really love that it was quite quite awesome to watch it was fun and authentic yeah, yeah it was fun and authentic and what i like is that it, it wasn't it wasn't an act he just came up there and just stood next to his dad and just did his thing yeah generation and generation eh oh yes generation and generation which goes back to our project this year generation next mm. oh yeah yeah man uh, since we're also gearing up to generation next you um are also part of the of the band of of living with church you're part of the worship team mm. you know how does that make you feel each time you're on that stage worshiping how does that make you feel i mean it's it's different to worshiping off stage because yeah. it's just it's when you're on on the stage okay. you just you get this feeling where it's 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 still worship but okay. <clears throat> when you lead worship you get such a different warm feeling in your heart that mm-hmm. just makes a big big impact i mean whether you worship off or on stage you get yeah. the same feeling but just being a part of helping lead the worship it's just so awesome yeah and i mean the space you go in i mean you walk no matter how close you are with god mm-hmm. whenever you get on that stage and you lead worship you you whenever you get off the stage afterwards you just feel like you're closer to god than more than you ever have been eh? yeah it's a journey that will go on until you you move on man it's it's awesome yeah yeah and i believe that you're gonna do that for a very long time because you're still young man and yeah i'm not leaving is, eh? yeah the I'm future not is leaving. bright yeah and by the way i do like what you do bro keep it up i will and i just wanted to say um yeah you were you were asking earlier about the the worship for generation x and okay. stuff and mm-hmm. On Sunday we haven't we did Waymaker. Yeah. We haven't done that song in a while, but I just when we did that song, I just got such an awesome feeling that God's telling us we're going to have more worship. Oh yeah, yeah. And I think God's got a very big plan for this church. Mm-hmm. And I know that we're just going to be moving forward from here. Yeah, yeah. Because he is a waymaker and miracle worker always keeps his promises and we have seen one of his promises on sunday the promises that he's going to keep the generation next is coming and bigger things are coming 
Thank you so much for watching the sermon recap. Don't forget to leave your like and comment. Tell us where you're watching from. We love you and we will see you next time. Stay blessed.